Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Livonia Arts Commission, we would like to welcome all of our artists, guests, and dignitaries to the 25th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition Reception. I'm Grace Karczewski, Livonia Arts Commissioner, Director of the Fine Arts Exhibition, and your host this evening. To begin our evening, I would like to introduce the members of the Livonia Arts Commission. Please hold a applause until after I introduce all of you. Paul DeVan, Joe Gilligan, Richard Kent, Patrice May, Helen Moore, Daniel Sperling, Jerry Valentine, Pam Valentine, James Sirkew, Lindsay Spence, and our liaison is Billy Keppen. Without all of their help, this reception would not be possible. Thank you so very much. At this time, I would like to introduce the dignitaries in our attendance this evening. Livonia's own Terry Maraki. Please stand, Terry. She's our Wayne County Commissioner. And Susan Nash, our city clerk. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending. I would like to introduce the Honorable Mayor of the City of Livonia, Mayor Maureen Miller Brosnan. Thank you so much for coming and attending. And will you please come up and say a few words about our reception. Grace, thank you so much. Um, and, and thank you all for being here this evening. This is, and I say this every time I get a chance to stand before this group, this is truly one of my favorite events. And what I love about it is that we get to reappropriate the space in our atrium here at the library. It's not often that we get a chance to have a little glass of wine and sit together at a nice table with the evening lights gleaming down on us. So um, for me, I always appreciate the fact that we get to gather in such lovely space. I want to welcome you all tonight. This is the 25th annual uh, Fine Art ex Exhibition, and it's being hosted here at the Bennett Civic Library. Some of these numbers are really beginning to mount up in our community. So this is the 25th anniversary of this event. Next year will mark the 50th anniversary of the Livonia Arts Commission. And that is significant, so. Earlier this week, we hosted an event in the city and we recognize um, those volunteers who serve on our various boards and commissions. And you mentioned the board and commission members that have served on the Livonia Arts Commission that are serving right now. They are exceptionally important. You are all amazingly vital and valuable resources to us. So this year, we had a chance to recognize a number of people uh, for their years of service. Uh, Patrice Mang and James Secru uh, had five years of service. And then uh, Dan Sperling, I believe, had 30 years of service. Unbelievable. <laughs> Dan, you are here today, so I want to recognize and just take a moment and thank you for, for your awesome work, not just here with this commission, but with so many other organizations, including the Spree in the city of Livonia. Um, we had a chance to all stand up and uh, cheer on your years of service at our awards banquet earlier this week. We wish you could have joined us, but I'm glad that you're here tonight and I get a chance to thank you personally. Thank you ever so much, Dan. You know, the Arts Commission over the years has been responsible for so many amazing events in our city, everything from uh, Music from the Heart to the Kids from the Heart art program that they've sponsored here and a number of other uh, art exhibitions. And they really have worked to bring together a lot of talent and recently uh, launched another group of art enthusiasts in the community. And it's uh, the Livonia Arts organization, I think it's called, and this is a group of people that are really wanting to be even more supportive of art throughout the city of Livonia. Art in our community is what I call an economic driver. It is a big part of why people choose to live, work, and play in a city. You know, if, you know, we put a, a lot of our pride in the fact that we're an extremely safe city. We've got a great school system. We've got a great park system, but another reason that people come and make communities their home and truly embrace them as their home is because they feel a special connection. 
Art is what does that for a lot of folks, whether that's a symphony that does a fantastic job, uh, where that, whether that's all of the events that we host out at Greenmead where we've got music and dancing involved, whether it's music from the heart that happens right here on this campus, whether it's the fantastic fine arts exhibit that we get a chance to review every single year. Um, I spent some time this year reviewing the art exhibit early in the morning. I was here as soon as they opened the library up one day a couple weeks ago, and it was a really fantastic day. The sun was shining, um, there was the, just the right amount of light coming in, and I sat for a peaceful hour up on the second floor among all of the phenomenal work that um, was in that room at the time, and it's special. You see an amazing amount of creative talent, but the thing that you understand is the amount of time that goes into those creations. And it is humbling and awesome to sit among that type of contribution to something that is as long lasting as art. We've seen where we have worked for the past 50 years to advance the cause and the importance of art in our community. And to all of you on the Arts Commission, I applaud that effort and I sincerely hope that you all have enjoyed this fine arts exhibit as much as I have. Thank you very much for having me with you tonight. Thank you, Mayor. It's an honor to have you attend our reception. Finally, our awards. Our jurist this year is Robert Maniscalco. He has been a professional creative his entire professional life. Robert is a native of Detroit, Michigan. His commission portraits, landscapes, and fine arts have been part of more than 1,000 collections throughout North America. Robert has hosted Art Beat on PBS and founded the Maniscalco Galleries. As a gallerist, Robert has exhibited multiple visual art forms, enjoys and encourages a diversity of expression. Robert has presented workshops on the power of positive painting. His address is maniscalcogallery.com. Robert has been an adjunct professor teaching drawing and painting at Charleston Southern University in South Carolina and drawing and illustration at the College for Creative Studies here in Detroit, Michigan. Robert is also a professional actor, director, writer on the arts, playwright, musician, composer, and teacher. At this time, I would like Robert to come up and present the awards. Robert. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Grace. Wow, it's so great to be here. I, I, 50 years. You should be so proud of yourselves that you have this in this community. It's an amazing thing. When I was president of the Wayne County Council for Arts, History, and Humanities, the idea was to try to you know, get everybody together and, and focus. Can you imagine what would happen if we put all the arts organizations together in, and had that kind of force of will? The, it would transform society. Because I think the arts really, um, really you get into what is what makes us human and if, you know we have this world where uh, we having wars and people it's the arts that keep us from destroying ourselves and uh, I think if we had a little bit more of this kind of energy in the world we would have a much better uh, place for our children so we uh, we just keep plowing forward and hope that we can make that happen um, I just want to say how how brave you all are. How many in here, first of all, have seen the actual show? Because I know we're kind of keeping it under wraps. So that, not very many people have actually gone up there and seen the show because you couldn't. They wouldn't let you up there. <laughs> so okay, so this will be a really great opportunity when you when this is over, you can go up there and actually see all the stuff that we're going to be talking about in the next few minutes. Um, so the bravery of an artist is just uh, you know to get out there and put yourself out there so everybody in the room. Uh, everybody that entered that show to me is uh, is a hero um, for for even putting yourself out there. I, I I enter shows and I win some. I sometimes I lose, but you know you you just put it out there. And artists, of course, are the most sensitive, uh, delicate souls in the whole world. And to do that uh, it, for an artist, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff. So. I, I just want to take my hat off and, and congratulate all of you 
for forever doing that here and elsewhere. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with the awards. You've got the, the stuff. Uh, so I, 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 um, I would, well, we're going to start with the honorable mentions first. Uh, so the first honorable mention is going to go to Debbie Lim for the work entitled Albino, Sunrise Albino Doe. It's a photograph. And it's fantastic. So uh, as I'm talking about it, uh, if you don't mind, Debbie, is she here? Well, come on up. Oh, yeah, I just talked to her. Yeah. Congratulations, Debbie. Now, this is a, this is a photograph of a, of a goat, and uh, a big photograph. And most photographs that I like, I think they'd make a really great painting. But in this case, the photograph itself was a, a whole and complete. There's nothing else you could do to improve that. Uh, so it's really beautiful. It's very striking when you see it up there. This is uh, terrible. I'd be talking at a, yeah. <laughs> talking at a little bit of a vacuum because you haven't had the experience that I've had uh, spending all that time with these pieces of art uh, that I did, uh, you know, initially when I chose the show and also selecting these awards. Uh, and as I say, uh, there, there were a number of others that I wanted to award as well, but we only have so many. And so the next honorable mention um, is going to go to Sandra DeFazio for the work entitled Ira Lake. Is she here, Sandra? Oh, good. She's right there. Sandra DeFazio, come on down. It's your time to play. Okay, so we, uh, this, she had three little gems in this uh, show, as you will see. And uh, you know you could have picked either one of them for an award. Um, yeah, they're they're really beautiful. Did you do these all plein air or? Mostly they are. Yeah, fantastic. They're they're really juicy little sensuous gems. And I, I invite you to t take a look at all three of them. Could have get, could have awarded all three of them. Um, the third honorable mention goes to Dan Quinn for the work entitled Blue Green Hills. Is he here? Dan, are you here? Anyway, this, this piece is sort of out of, uh, you know, you think of my work, if you know of my work, as more representational and sort of realistic. Um, but this piece, there's about 15 strokes that accomplish the entire piece. It's just blue green, and it's a landscape, and it's boom, 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 boom. And, you know, as Picasso said, you, sp you spend 17, 18 years to paint like Velasquez, but a lifetime to learn to paint like a child. To be able to put a stroke down and leave it. I don't know if there's any artist in here, but how hard that is sometimes <laughs> to just leave it. Anyway, this, uh, Dan, just, Dan did a fantastic job uh, of it. And it's a, it's a very striking piece. So congratulations. Fourth honorable mention goes to, these are all the four honorable mentions. Uh, Josephine Sheely for the work titled Italian Boy. So congratulations. Is she here? Yeah. Josephine. Josephine. That was my great, my great aunt Papina. It was her name, Josephine. Anyway, Josephine, uh, that work, Italian Boy, is this fantastic, just this little teeny painting, uh, a boy in profile with this... Uh, with this fantastic combination of hard and soft edges and, and masterful in the way you put those together. Uh, you know, very soft and then very hard and angular, really beautifully cut design, you know, really nicely painted. Thank you. Now we get to the award of merit. Um, this one goes to Dean Rogers for the work entitled Monster Nightlife. There he is. Oh, yeah. He looks the part. You look like the kind of guy who would paint something like that. Yeah, it's, it's a wacky, wacky, really fun painting and beautiful, uh, you know, uh, just, it's, he just has a lot of fun with this. And it's all in colored pencil. I don't know how you people with colored pencils can do that. I, I try to get colored pencils. I can't get anything to happen. But it's beautiful work, and it's really fun. You'll see it, and it's very timely for Halloween, so you'll enjoy this piece. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Hi, uh, Dean.
Yeah, that's so. next. Okay. Yeah, so now uh, we were just talking uh, about our, about our, uh, amongst ourselves for a moment, but the Arts Commissioner's Choice Award, um, this is the one that was chosen by the Arts Commissioners themselves, and they, you know, I didn't have anything to do with it, but I would certainly also choose this award as well. Home to Roost, congratulations goes to Valerie Miller. Home to Roost. Yay, Valerie. Okay. You'll see it. It's a charming piece. These roosters are coming uh, way uh, out of some home, and it's, you, know, you get this, yeah, you get the nice feeling. A warm, fuzzy feeling. Thank you very much, Valerie. I really, I really cannot wait for you to see these, uh, these works of art. Um, honestly, uh, they're very high caliber, and I know that the, you know, the high awards and all that sort of stuff attracts uh, some really fantastic artists. So there's some really high caliber work, and as I said, there were many I, do, I would like to uh, give an award to. Now, we get to the Mayor's Choice Award which is uh, very interesting because I, I, you know, I, I also chose it among my favorites as well, so it's, uh, that was not an easy, that was not a hard choice. It was, uh, and there were a couple of other works that this artist uh, did uh, that I wanted to award as well. But we went with, um, because you chose it and I chose it, um, Waiting for Christina. Yeah, and it's a piece, uh, and this of course is by Derwood Coffee. Derwood Coffee! Come on down! <laughs> no, it's this fantastic piece. Uh, I don't know if you thought about it afterwards or thought about it from the beginning. Oh, right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. You had this idea of. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a, it's a, it's a, so you got these three geese waiting for Christina. If you know Christina's world, it's very famous. It's at the MoMA. And a very beautiful piece. And, and he's got these three geese sort of standing in for Christina. It's really cool. <laughs> And you'll see, and it's also be, it's a very striking, very large piece. Uh, another watercolor in there also I wanted to award. Anyway, um, fantastic. Juror's Choice Award. Um, of course, I chose all of these, but uh, I had to have a Juror's Choice Award. But I, I think it's, um, it's, it's fitting that it would go to Michael McNamara for the work entitled Preparing for the Fourth of July. Congratulations to Michael McNamara. It's a very tight work. It's it's uh, it's very extremely well executed. The you know the perspective is fantastic. The aerial perspective, you know, you really feel like you're there. But it's very simply done. Wait till you see. I I I hate. You know what I used to hate when people would describe a piece of artwork to me. They'd call me up and they'd say, "I've got this fantastic work. I want you to have it in your gallery." And it, blah, 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 they start talking about it. But you know, it's just a great work. You got to see it. It's simple, clear. And, you know, get this perspective down the street. Really yeah, great yeah, job. Oh, is that right? That's the wildfire yeah. smoke it gave him a little better aerial perspective. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fun to go out and paint when the smoke is out, right? Or <laughs> when it's very hazy. Yeah, you get that that beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations. This is the strangest awards uh, ceremony ever, uh, you know, having a conversation. Anyway, uh, now we get to the, uh, the place winners. Uh, and uh, yeah, third place goes to uh, Cheryl Chidester for the work entitled Waiting Backstage. Is she here? Cheryl? Well, let's clap for her anyway. Well, she's what? Backstage. She's backstage. But uh, Cheryl, uh, for that piece, uh, Waiting Backstage, it kind of, you'll see it, it's kind of uh, like one of those Degas ballerinas, but it's really, really, um, you know, kind of today. Uh, and it's on black paper, and she, she brings out this, uh, these lights. It's, it's really something uh, to see. They're, um, yeah, just, uh, it's a small piece, and it's right there as you walk in. All right, she's not here, so we'll just go on. That was fantastic. Thank you uh, for, uh, for that, Cheryl. If you clap, it gives me a little time to think about what I'm gonna say next. 
It doesn't help, but it's still useful. Anyway, second place. We're, we're getting our way, moving our way all the way to the top here, but in, in, uh, these were, you know, were very difficult. How do you choose which one's first, second, third, you know? Um, but anyway, I ended up going with uh, uh, Robert Parrish, Bob Parrish's work entitled Cherry Blossom. I hadn't seen him earlier. What? Anyway, this, this piece was fantastic. It's, you'll see it kind of reminded me and real, will probably remind you of the Van Gogh uh, cherry blossoms paintings that he did. This, uh, the starkness of this pink and brown against the, the blue sky and this really tasty balance between those two colors. Um, and this perspective he has, you really feel like there's a depth in it. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot more than just a pretty decorative picture of some uh, cherry blossoms. It's a fantastic piece, so congratulations to Bob Parrish. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> the best of show. Gosh, how do you choose the best of the best? Really, some really good stuff. I, keep, I want to make sure I emphasize that. It was really hard. Um, the best of show, and I don't know how to properly pronounce her name. We were kind of uh, debating as to whether or not we should, how we would pronounce it. But uh, the best of show for the, what is it, the, the 25th annual Fine Arts, Fine Arts Exhibition here in Livonia goes to Laura Machnik for the work entitled Maria. Oh my gosh, there's, she has three, three pieces entered in the show and they are all gems. They were all just brilliant, brilliant pastelist. And uh, yeah, they're really, they're really delicate. But this one, the, the one Maria, it's large. You see it uh, as you walk in, it's kind of right there on the right. Um, it was, you know, stunning because of the technical and the color harmony and the design, your eye, you bring your eye right in through the left and bring us right through the whole thing and then you capture us in those beautiful eyes. So it's got this technical prowess combined with the emotional quality and you can see where the emotion comes from. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, thank thank Laura, you so you're, you're, we're honored you. to have you. Yeah. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I just gave away a lot of money. That's what I like to do. <laughs> give me the money and let me give it away. No, anyway, you guys, this was great. I really appreciate it. This the second year I did this, and I finally got to actually be here. You know, from in Charleston, I came in, and it was really great to see all your work and to be with all of you. Nothing like a room full of artists and art appreciators. So thank you again, Grace. Grace got a few uh, closing words, and thank you again. I'll talk to you all after. Of course, I would like to thank Robert Maniscalco, our juror, for making our 25th Fine Arts uh, Exhibition a success. A wonderful job. Thank you so much. In addition, I would like to thank the On the Border for our delicious food this evening. I would also like to thank our band, the Alvarado Music Artists, who donated their performance this evening. Thank you so much. And this will conclude the 25th Annual Fine Arts Exhibition. Please stay, enjoy our delicious food, and tour our gallery for the remaining of your evening with us. Congratulations to all of our artists, and it was wonderful. It's a wonderful show up there. So the door is open, and you can tour the gallery, take a trip up there. And also, the um, programs are upstairs in the gallery.